Okay, all that is left for us to do now is to take care of this transcript. So I'm going to exit out. And let's come right here. And one thing first, see this text box. I'm going to move that up about that. And I will then add a list box somewhere. Let's grab a list box here. Right, there we go. All right, grab a list box and just add our list box right there. Yes, yeah, something like that. Okay, and here I'm going to put a title there for the name of my institution. So maybe just call it a university or something. Let's double click on the form so that we can enter something there on this very text box. So I'm going to double click on the form right here on the form initialize. I'm going to enter as follows. Okay, and that is for my that would be for my list box, this very one. And as for this one, as for this one, I'm going to enter let's enter something right there okay so when i run this program now this is what you guys should see i university final year transcript that's what's gonna appear here so which means if i enter all the way in there and I just need to click and i'll be able to view everything in here okay so let's do Let's do this first. You see this very workbook, this one. I need to enter some title here. Okay. So let's start by entering student student underscore ID. And then we can take care of the rest anyway. We have name here so name I think the next subject is this mass we have English we have biology yeah and I'm just gonna check out the rest let me save it first let's come right here okay we have computing chemistry physics so come in here enter computing chemistry here we have physics uh, we have what else let's come right here and see Add maps and business. Add maps and finally we have business. Okay. Right. Let's just click on that. Come to home and increase the font size. Okay. Make that about fourteen. Make that bold. All right. So we have that in place. Back in here. Now let's double click on transcript. Double click on transcript. Right in here, I'm going to enter the following variables for my transcript. The next thing is I now want to enter. This is for my workbook. This is to add the range for the workbook itself. Okay, and this is for the sheet one that I'm going to be using. If you're using sheet two, enter sheet two or whatever the name of the workbook is. And I've specified from A to 65,000 plus. So I'm going to start by entering as follows. So the very first one is going to be that. Okay, that's for the student so ID. I'm just going to paste that and change it to round. Okay. So the next one is going to be according to my system that's going to be so uh, first name. We yeah, have so name here and this one will be one and so on. 
okay let's speed that up guys there that's how it looks now that's how the transcript is looking so whatever I enter on the transcript or on the system itself we appear on the transcript let's enter some value in there okay the name let's say the name is Sammy with an I and um, we have the name of Sammy and let's enter Sammy's race there that will give us that will click this we might as well make it right and click on result there we go okay all of those information should appear straight onto on the I mean when I click on the transcript itself so let's move this yeah, let's move it this way and just click on the transcript and see you see that you see all of those information now appear here okay well that's what you can see with missing or well, there's something missing here so we need to move it in a little bit just one more okay I will sort that out okay that is fine so I'm going to exit out and back in back on the transcript you said that we click on the transcript and right here I want to enter some information so that we can display those here you can display all of the results on this list box and that you can print out if you want to add a printer to it double click on that and right below here enter that okay those are the lines of code for the list box have a good look at it guys I had to speed that up okay now let's run it oh before then let's see which of these are we missing back in here and let's go back on the transcript okay right here on the transcript that seems to be missing total average and this so all of these are right so let's copy total back in here and we're gonna paste total here okay we also have average and just type that out and we have ranking right there okay hopefully we should be able to get it right now okay so back on to looking at this properly one address I don't want address okay so this one is going to be three four another mistake there 10 11 12 and 13 that is correct now okay let's run it one more time all right so I'm going to enter some details in here and enter student ID okay enter a name there let's say the name is is Olamo and examination number date of date and is female and address number one says number one day Nigeria the carry lands just call that big town full stop big town day okay now let's enter details of all I'm on yeah. And there. 
so click on results there we go a lot more here that's uh, she has a first class and let's see the transcript there we go that's fine and let's see let's see it on the spreadsheet itself so I'm gonna move it aside and there we go that is all our most results so if I click on the transcript again this is what you guys will see look at that you see that that's a very that's a very good uh, system so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial and you my subscriber Alan Smith I suppose I have answered your request and guys you all have a nice day now bye for now